Rita Moreno from Portraits of Hispanic American Heroes by Juan Felipe Herrera Paintings by Raul Colon Born December 11, 1931 in Humacao, Puerto Rico I finally got a chance to play a real Hispanic person someone with character and strength, said Rita Moreno about her 1962 Oscar-winning role in West Side Story. By then, she had been in over 20 films. Rita held that Oscar up high, like the Statue of Liberty grasping the torch. Rosa Dolores Alverio came from a family of Jibaros, small independent rural farmers in Puerto Rico. During the Great Depression, Rosa's mother left for New York City to work in the garment industry and took her daughter, known as Rosita, along. Rosita missed her little brother and father and her homeland, and she didn't speak any English. There wasn't any extra money, but her mother enrolled her in dance classes because Rosita really wanted to learn to dance. When Rosita was seven, she made her first public appearance dancing at a nightclub in Greenwich Village. During the day, she would struggle to learn English at school, and at night, she took acting and dance classes and went to auditions. At the age of 13, Rosita landed her first role on Broadway. Soon enough, Rosita caught the attention of Hollywood talent scouts. This led to more professional song and dance shows and her first film, So Young, So Bad. Still a teenager, she shortened her first name, changed her last name, and became Rita Moreno. Even though she was getting public exposure, Rita was not happy with the casting roles where she had to dance barefoot, make pouty and sulky faces, and act sultry. Then the big break came, a chance to audition for West Side Story. She tried out for the role of Anita, the strong, willful older sister who is the head of the family. There was not one, but three auditions, in acting, singing, and dancing. The thing that scared me the most was dancing, because I hadn't danced at that time for at least ten years. Rita registered for dance classes before the audition. Trying to get her groove back, she rehearsed jazz dance eight hours a day until the audition. Rita won the role, and then she won the Oscar. She had come a long way. There were no role models. I was my own role model, myself. Once I had that little gold man, the Oscar, in my grasp, I thought, okay, that's it. No more of those stereotypical Conchita Lolitas. But Rita was not offered a serious role and did not make a major film for the next seven years. I just couldn't believe that I wasn't getting any offers, she said. Exposure If someone gets a lot of exposure, he or she becomes well-known by performing in many places. Willful A person who is willful is very determined to get what he or she wants. Stereotypical A stereotypical idea is one that is false about a particular group, even though many people believe it. So she turned to acting on stage and performed in London and New York. It was one place where people of color could reach for the stars and just maybe catch one. Television was another option. The Muppets, The George Lopez Show, in the 70s, she focused her talents on children's shows, appearing on Sesame Street and The Electric Company. Rita's mission was to inspire Hispanic children. When interviewed at the time, she mentioned how alone she had felt as a child because she was different, and she wanted the new generations of children to feel positive about their identities. Rita told the media proudly that she was Latina and knew what it felt like to be different. By the end of the 70s, Rita Moreno's dream came true. Measuring five feet and two and a half inches, she became one of the all-time 
great Puerto Rican entertainers. The only female artist to win the four major entertainment awards, an Oscar, a Tony, a Grammy, and two Emmys. When her star was unveiled on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Rita fell on it, weeping. I had been dreaming of this day since I was six. Rita Moreno's life and career were not merely lists of outstanding work and dazzling awards in the performing arts. Rita continued to cross boundaries and to break borders, not for herself but for others, young people in particular. For Latino children and youth, she became a new positive figure, a multi-talented, authentic model of creative action. In June of 2004, President George W. Bush awarded Rita Moreno the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She was acknowledged as a great artist and a pioneer in her ability to go beyond the early discriminatory practices of Hollywood. Authentic A person who is authentic is real and true to himself or herself, not fake or phony. Discriminatory Rules, laws, or practices are discriminatory if they leave out a group of people or treat that group unfairly. Collaborative discussion. Respond to the text. Look back at what you wrote on the Prepare to Read page. Talk with a partner about what you learned during reading. Then work with a group to discuss the questions below. Make your answers stronger by including details from Rita Moreno. Show respect for others' ideas by following your class's rules for a good discussion.